really proud of our guys' effort. I thought we got off to a really good start. Uh, they're a really good basketball team and, and showed, I think, in the second half when they were making a run just how much firepower they have. I mean, so many guys are capable of stepping out and knocking down shots. And they play so hard. Josh has done a great job with his group because he has a lot of new players as well. And I think that uh, as the conference continues to go on for them, they're just going to continue to, to gain momentum. So I'm just really happy with our guys' effort and that we were able to, uh, to get a win tonight. I know Raekwon Battle was going to be a defensive focus for you guys. And it seemed like you didn't make anything easy for him, especially early in the game. I know he was limited, and obviously what happened in the second half. But what did you think you guys did well to really take him out of his rhythm? Well, he's, well I always say with really good players and guys that score the ball like he has in his career, you know, you, the best you can hope to is contain them. You know, you want to contain them, try to, you know, get their percentages down as low as you can on, on their points. That's the kind of our approach. But I thought everybody had an amazing awareness of where he was at all times. You know, it was one of those games I thought every time he caught the ball, I saw one of our, our UCF jerseys in front of him. And that's what you want to see, just that, that awareness of where the person is all the time, you know, trying to take him off what he wants to do really well, which I thought our guys, you know, did a good job of that for the most part. And then, you know, he got, I think he got a little emotional in the second half and picked up some technicals, and that was kind of it for him. But uh, he's a terrific player. I've been scouting him and seeing the, the, the variety of ways he can score the basketball. You know, he's one of the more talented you know, guards in this conference, I believe. West Virginia's coach credited your team's physicality. How have you seen that change from that first game a couple of weeks ago at Kansas State as your players have gotten more used to Big 12 action? Yeah, I think the more our guys are getting you know, used to the way it's being played, the way it's being called, uh, our guys are making the adjustments. And that's what you have to do. I always say it's a marathon, it's not a sprint at this stage. You know, you're taking it one game at a time. You're trying to get better every time you go out. And so that's what we tried to do. You know, our, our guys, you know, we have some good size, some, some experienced players. So they're capable of playing physical basketball. But you just have to make the adjustments based on how the game is being called. And now the one thing I love about this conference is they let you bang, they let you play. And so our guys have made, are uh, making that adjustment. Are we all the way there yet? I don't think so. I think we can even be better at it. But uh, we're working towards it. Adrian, uh, pretty well balanced game tonight, three blocks, 14 points, 12 rebounds. What do you think of his performance tonight? Yeah, I thought he was terrific, and he has been terrific for us. I think almost ever since we've inserted him into the starting lineup, he's really stepped up his game and given us some great, you know, some great efforts, you know, defensively, you know, blocking shots, altering shots. You know, he's been a, a really good low post presence for us where we could play off of him down there in the low post. He's been very effective for us. And like I said, I don't even think he's playing his best basketball yet. I think as he continues to get comfortable in what we want him to do, I think you'll see him even play better. Throughout Big 12 play, you guys have struggled a little bit offensively during the first half, first five minutes of the game. But you guys got to a lead and never looked back. You guys never trailed this game. How important is it to build leads like that early in the game? Well, it's important. You know, I, I've tried to tell our guys, you know, we've shown that we can, you know, play from behind and we can, we can come back. But you don't want to make a habit of that. I mean, that's not something you want to make a habit of. And so it was kind of, you know, this is probably one of the first games, I think, in Big 12 play that we played with the lead almost the entire way. And so it was good to see our guys not only build a lead, but can you, can you, can you manage that lead? Because that's very important. You know, you get up and the other team you're playing against, they're going to make runs, they're going to do things, make adjustments. And I thought our guys did a really good job of, you know, withstanding their runs and withstanding their adjustments and were able to maintain a double-digit lead. Coach cited discipline as one of the big differencing factors between the both of you. What did you see tonight in terms of both squads discipline-wise? Well, I, I thought for us, you know, we're working. I guess, you know, Coach Josh and those guys are working on the same things we're working on. I guess, you know, both of us have so many new players that, you know, it, it takes, it's a process. When you have that many new guys that come from different systems, different coaches, different styles of play, I mean, it takes time for those habits to change. And so I think we're both trying to work through that with our players where we can get those habits changed to what we want from them. And it's just a process. I mean, they're going through it, and so are we. Uh, and, and so I know exactly how he feels. But, you know, we're, we're in the same boat in that regard. Having, having said that, where, where do you feel your team's defense is at? I mean, do you like the, the kind of tone that this defense has set? You know, maybe not the record you guys, you guys want there, but the defense seems to be pretty consistent. You know, I think our defense is, is, is ahead of our offense. I think I've said that before. Our defense is definitely ahead of our offense. And that's because we've put so much time on our defense. And that, you know, most things you get better at at this level is, 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 is time spent on that. You can always tell what the coach is concentrated on by, by what they're doing fairly well. And I think defensively, you know, we've, we've done that. And uh, we've always felt that to win anywhere, the American, to win the Big 12, it starts on that end of the floor and then you build out. So 
we're building out now. That's why I said it's, it's a marathon, not a sprint. We're still building out now our offense, building out you know, our, our personnel, what we think we can do offensively. And I think we will continue to improve in that area as, as, as these weeks continue to move forward. Antoine Jones may have had a meaningful contribution for you guys tonight. What did you like about what he was able to do? You know, I thought he was terrific. You know, you know, we talked about guys, you know, after the last time we played, we talked about guys stepping up and who just want to step up and help contribute in, uh, in what we can do because, you know, we look around our room and I told you our strength is in our numbers. And, and it showed tonight. Here's a player that you hadn't seen do as much. And now in a game like this, a meaningful game, a game where – you know, you're in conference play, you see a guy make the plays he's made. And I, and I believe that can happen with a number of players that are sitting on our bench right now as well, not just Antoine. And so as guys step up and contribute, I think it just makes us a more deep team and a team that we, get, we can play a lot of different styles. Coach, you're one way away, uh, one win away from 200 career wins as a coach. How does that make you feel? Oh, my God. That makes me feel old. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I, I, I didn't know that, but uh, yeah, just, you know what, I've, I've loved this. I mean, I played this game, you know, all my life, and I was very fortunate, and uh, now I've been coaching it, you know, longer than I've played it now. How amazing is that? And, and I've loved every minute of it. You know, I loved it as a player, and I can't say I love it anymore as a coach, but I love it equally as much, that's for sure. Working with the young people, I get a chance to work with, mentoring them, and get a chance to still compete on the floor against teams like we did tonight. Coach, uh, what was the offensive game plan going into tonight? Uh, the offensive game plan for us was, you know, we wanted to make sure that that we share the basketball. You know, we we're very it's very important for us to get the basketball moving, share the basketball. You know, no one forcing shots, playing off each other, playing for each other, is what we really wanted to do offensively. And uh, I thought our guys in the half court for the most part did that. Your coach also talked about how having a short memory is, is really key to succeeding as a coach. And coming off of last game, how big was it for you to get a win like this tonight? Uh, very important. Like I said, they've got some really good wins. Uh, we know they're well coached. They have a lot of talent. And so for us, it was very important, especially at home. You know, we're home, and we have to understand the importance of defending home court. That's, just what, that's what we're growing into right now. You know, understanding the importance of, you know, growing here and, and being successful here. Like, we had another great crowd. I mean, I'm not sure what the numbers were, but I looked around the stadium, I mean, the arena. You know, I, I know it's most, it looked like it was almost mostly full. So, for me, uh, you know, we win in these games because they're like a six-man to us, in my opinion. They give us that extra, you know, extra opponent defensively, extra opponent offensively, just with their effort and energy in the stands. I think our guys have fed off of that really well all season long. And so, very, very important for us to uh, – to make a stand here at home, and I'm proud of our guys for that. Coach Shamari went down late. How serious does that look at this point? Uh, not sure. You're getting imaging tonight to see kind of the extent of where you know what happened. Uh, he did roll his ankle, and so we'll see. The one thing I know about Shamari, I mean, he's a tough young man, and if he can play, if he can contribute, I man, he's going to do it. But we have to wait and get the report back from the doctors to find out exactly uh, the extent of his injury. Coach, uh, Omar Kennedy is normally the guy you'll see pick the long shot. So what was your reaction to see him uh, hit that three tonight? I uh, know. We, you know, you, would, you wouldn't believe this, but, you know, that's a shot that we work on with Omar. You know, we, we think he's capable. He has a good stroke. And uh, we've encouraged him to take that shot when he has time and space. <laughs> and he had time and space today, and he's taking it. And so, uh, no, so you, it would be a surprise. But, yeah, he has good touch. And so I think as he continues to make them like he did, you know, he gives us another player similar to the guys tonight, like we played against their five men that can pop out and shoot threes. Uh, that's just so hard to guard. And so uh, having him being able to do that as one of our post guys, I think, just gives us more versatility. Coach, you're back out on the road again later this week. Uh, when it comes to conference play, is the next step for this team to put two together and then build from there? Absolutely. We have to find ways to, to you know, cons we have to be more consistent in is what we're trying to become. And what we're learning as we go through this process, and uh, our guys are learning, you know, every team, like every single game is like an NCAA game. Every opponent is really, really talented. And so we're learning, and, and we're growing, and I think each one of these games help our guys understand that, hey, we can be successful, that we can win. And uh, so it's good for their overall confidence, and as we gain more confidence, you know, hopefully we can string more games together. But, you know, like I said, that's in this league, are you kidding me? It's It's – I've been, like I said, in the ACC. I grew up Big East basketball. I mean, it reminds me of the old ACC when I played. It reminds me of the old Big East. I mean, it's just a, it's just a tough, tough men's league. Coach, I know you spoke briefly about Ibrahim Diallo, but transferring from San Jose State, his numbers weren't that spectacular. 
Uh, nothing really except his blocks didn't jump off the, the page. What did you see, and did you expect this performance out of him once he got to the school and to be able to develop a system around him? Well, w the one thing we knew is that he was a hard, hard worker. So once we got him down here and we could start working with him, we knew some of the things that, that he may have been somewhat deficient at when he was you know, playing at San Jose State. We, hope, we thought we may be able to get some improvement in those areas, like scoring around low post more consistently with his touch. You know, we knew the defensively he could block shots. And so, yeah, so we wanted to just work with them, get them in our system, and everybody runs a different system. You know, our system, you know, we want to utilize those guys a little more. And so I think that's, that's his usage probably, his usage rate is up probably from where it was at San Jose State, which gives him more opportunities to produce. Was leader amongst blocks in the Big 12 and all of college basketball the expectation? Uh, definitely. We thought with him and Omar, we thought we had two shot blockers, and we were hoping that those guys would be able to, you know, even at this level and this league, be able to alter or block shots and give us a presence down low. Coach, you led all game. How did you keep that momentum? Well, I give our guys a lot of credit. I think they were really focused. You know, we were, you know, they were really focused. They understood the game plan, and I thought they really worked it the whole 40 minutes. And uh, it was good to see if we could play, you know, with the lead. Like I said, because most of the time we've been, you know, the comeback kids. So I was happy to see our guys play in a situation, okay, how do we handle being up? And they showed that they could. They showed that they could, could maintain the lead. They could, they could withstand runs. All the things you got to do to be a successful team in a conference like this, they showed that they're capable of it. Now we have to continue to get better at it. Coach, your team has a few more wins than many people might have expected at this point. What have you been most proud of or most impressed by at this point? Just our guys' the belief. You know, the word belief is powerful. You know, it's a powerful word. You know, it starts with that. We, I don't think we could even be in this position if they didn't believe they could be. You know, I can feed them all the encouragement and positive things I want, but ultimately they have to believe that they can be successful. They have to believe that they belong. I think I've said that before, and uh, that's what they're seeing. And I think when you have results like a game like this tonight or a few nights ago, that just helps further that belief, you know, that you can you can compete, you know. You know, it's a long year. You know, it's a lot of games to be played, but they know that they can compete, which is, which is very, very helpful because you know, I can say it all I want, but until you get a win or two, it's just me talking, you know. But now, after you won a game or two, you realize that no, we can win. You know, we can compete, and that's all you want is just a winning effort. And then we'll see what happens. Coach, you dominated the free throw line, scoring off turnovers, and on the fast break. What would you say was the point of difference tonight? Uh, I thought, you know, for us, we, we wanted to play a game in which we, you know, we're aggressive. That's who we are. We want to play a 94-foot game. I think you see that if you look at, you know, fast break points, us getting out in transition. You know, that's, that's who we are, you know. So we want to play, we want to play fast, and we want to make it a 94-foot game. And I think, you know, we were successful at, you know, getting that style of play tonight. You know, is it every night is it successful? No, but, you know, tonight we were able to, uh, to play that style, and our guys really enjoy playing that way. Anybody else? All set? Thanks, guys. All right, guys. Let's have a good